When it comes to large productions, HDMI and SDI both have their limits. Whether it's long distance runs, syncing the frames up, or converting your HDMI output to SDI in your video mixer, an HDMI to SDI converter is a great solution for your production setup. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of our other video content. Now, HDMI is a great way to send a video signal from your computer to your projection, whether it be a projector, a TV, or an LED wall. But when your computer is further away from where you want to send the signal, HDMI has a limited range. The recommended maximum cable length for HDMI is about 25 feet but it'll cap out at about 49 feet without losing your video quality. Now this will also be dependent on the quality of cable that you're using. Right. But for longer runs than that, converting to SDI will maintain that video quality and can be safely run up to about 300 feet. Like this. Yeah. Now making these longer cable runs, or if you're converting the signal for a video mixer, such as the Blackmagic ATEM TV Studio, you can use HDMI to SDI converters like the Decimator or the Blackmagic up-down cross converters. You'd simply use one of these converters to convert the computer HDMI to SDI at the source, make the longer SDI run, and then convert the SDI back to HDMI for your projector or TV. Nice. That makes sense. But if you're going to be connecting to a video mixer, most of those these days have SDI inputs using BNC connectors. So the Decimator or Blackmagic up-down cross converter can make it easy to convert that signal. Now, one of the best things about both of these devices is not only can they convert your input to output type, but they can also scale the video content so it's the correct input format of the receiver you're using. So basically, if your computer sends out one resolution, like 720i, and your mixer is using 1080i, these converters can scale the signal to match the mixer, so you don't have to worry about changing the settings in the computer or on the mixer, they're just there by default. Now, if you're using fill and key from Easy Worship as an alpha channel into a video mixer for overlay, Dan and I are going to talk about that here in a little bit. Now, the Decimator has a few different models that can do different things, but we use the Decimator MDHX, which is an HDMI to SDI or SDI to HDMI cross converter with scaling and frame rate conversion. Now, this bad boy will run you about $300 each. The buttons on the top are used to configure the settings, and those are viewable on a digital LCD display that also shows the input status. As far as the connections go, it has two inputs, one of them being the HDMI and the other SDI. There's also an HDMI output and two pairs of SDI outputs. The micro USB connection is for an easier setup through a computer. Now, last but not least is the power adapter that has a screw lock so it won't become unplugged accidentally when Dan walks through a room. The Blackmagic up-down cross converter is also an HDMI to SDI or SDI to HDMI cross converter with scaling and frame rate conversion. Now, these will set you back around $150 each. Now, this has one SDI input with a loop output that bypasses all processing, an HDMI input, a reference input, two SDI outputs, an HDMI output. There's a USB-C connector for updates, configuration, and power. This converter uses many dip switches to set the output format and has a legend of each format printed on the bottom of the device. Last but not least, once again, is the power adapter that has a screw lock so it won't accidentally become unplugged. We've used both of these converters and they each work really, really well. However, one of the main differences between the two is cost. You're gonna be paying twice as much for the Decimator as you will for the Black Magic, but the Decimator has the LED display with the buttons that allow easy setup and control of the device where the Black Magic just uses dip switches. When using fill and key in Easy Worship as an alpha channel, you'll use two video card outputs. For example, when we were at the Experience Conference in Orlando this year, we ran the main session lyrics using Easy Worship. And it looked incredible. Yeah. We used a fill and a key to send those lyrics to the mixer so they could be layered over the camera feeds on the main LED walls. Now, since the cable runs were longer than 49 feet, we were using SDI but the video card in our computer had HDMI. Right. So we used two HDMI to SDI converters to send both the key and the fill to the video mixer backstage. Now everything worked great, but we also learned a couple of things that can make it even better. 
From time to time, we noticed a slight delay between the key and the fill on the content transitions. And what happens is when the frames are not synchronized as they're sent out from the converters, you can get a frame difference between the two devices. Yep. In the video camera and production world, it's common to use a sync generator such as a Blackburst or a tri-level sync device. Now what these basically do is tell every video camera or device in your system to synchronize the frames as they're sent. So frames are synced for transitions and overlays. Now with that idea in mind, we also need to apply the same concept for our key and fill HDMI to SDI converters to make sure the frames for each stay in sync as they're sent to the video mixer for overlay. And knowing that, we need two converters for the key and fill. There's a way to sync the frames using the decimators or the Blackmagic converters. With the decimators, you can use one of the converters as the sync generator, and the other will act as its slave. The setup will include plugging in both HDMI cables you have from the computer's video card into the HDMI input, one on each decimator and plug your two SDI cables going to the mixer into one of the SDI outs on each decimator. In the settings, you can choose the resolution you want to send out. If you just want to send each HDMI from the computer to a decimator, and then each one of those out SDI to your mixer, you could run into an issue like we did, where the key and fill won't stay in sync with each other. To set up one of the decimators as a sync generator so the frames are synced, Use the buttons and LED screen to set one of them to use free run as a scalar reference, and then connect the second SDI output in the same pair to the SDI input on the other decimator. Then set its scalar reference to SDI in. To set the scalar reference to free run, use the arrow buttons to get to control and press enter. Then use the arrow buttons again to go to duck ref and press enter until you see it say free run. Then press the back button to get to the main menu and use the arrow buttons to get back to the input status. One of the outputs on this unit will go to your mixer and the other one will go to the SDI in on the other decimator. On the second unit, follow the same instructions but set the duck ref to SDI in. The SDI output of this one will also go to your mixer. So when it's all plugged in, it should look like this. Just make sure both converters are routing the signal through the scaler under control and SDI outsource in the settings. This will ensure that the outputs from each device will be locked to the same sync. With the Blackmagic up-down cross converters, you won't be able to do it the same way as with the decimator. You'll actually need a separate device called the sync generator. It'll be plugged into both converters to sync the frames and can be purchased from Blackmagic for around $200. So if you are using key and fill, the cost won't be much different whether you use two decimators or two up-down cross converters and a sync generator. Now on the sync generator, you will need to set the dip switches to match the resolution and frame rate from the converters or you might run into a lot of issues. Then both HDMI cables from the computer's video card will plug into the HDMI in, one on each converter, and plug your two SDI cables going to the mixer into one of the SDI outs on each converter. The sync generator will then have two SDI cables plugged into two of the reference out ports, and one will plug into the reference in port on one converter, and the other will plug into the reference in port on the other converter. Now, HDMI to SDI converters can be used in so many ways to extend your production with not only cameras, but with easy worship as well. There are other converters on the market of varying price ranges and other capabilities that we didn't cover here, but we can confidently say that we've used both the Decimator and the Blackmagic converters in testing and in live shows, and they've performed for us flawlessly. They are great. Easy Worship is a leading church presentation software, and if you haven't ever checked it out or given us an honest try, you can download a free, fully functional demo at easyworship.com. You can also purchase a basic or premium subscription there for a very low monthly or annual cost. If you have any other questions about Easy Worship or how these converters work with it, please let us know in the comments or you can contact our support team. Please be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell below so you don't miss any of our other video content. Thank you guys so much for watching. And thanks for choosing Easy Worship.
Thank you.